Well, we are celebrating Western New York this morning with the grand opening of a project years in the making. The National Comedy Center in Jamestown will host its grand opening at 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah, the celebration runs through Sunday and is packed with tons of events that you won't want to miss. This morning, we're taking a look at what the center means not only for comedy, but also for the economy. Eight years in the making and what's being called a game changer for the Southern Tier is about to open its doors. Our hope is that five years from now, when you come to the city of Jamestown, it'll be a different place than it is today. National Comedy Center Chairman Tom Benson says that the $50 million attraction is expected to result in about $23 million in economic development to the area every year. But he says, more importantly, transform opinions and lift Jamestown to national prominence. It'll be like what happened in Cooperstown, a little town that all of a sudden became vibrant with all things baseball. Um, we hope that what will happen here is that the same kind of process will take place. People will, uh, and it's already happening, people are investing in town now. They have an optimism they didn't have before. They believe that things can happen here that weren't going to happen three or four years ago. That optimism is driven by the quality of this attraction. High tech and glitzy, it screens showbiz and through computer chip technology, wristbands help tailor your experience through exhibits like comedy karaoke, a virtual stand-up lounge, and even a laugh battle where you go head to head with another visitor. Okay, you ready? In this case, Kate Welshover. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. <laughs> Executive Director Journey Gunderson says it's a place where all forms of comedy and comedians are celebrated, from the routines of yesteryear to the up-and-coming stars of tomorrow. This will always be updating, always evolving. We're going to be celebrating the Ali Wongs of next year, and so we're trying to keep our finger on the pulse of comedy so that no matter when you visit, you can say, yeah, I'm going to come back next summer and really still enjoy it. Oh, it just seems awesome. Now, you've been there a couple of times recently, Pete, yeah. as they were really putting the finishing touches on it. Did you have any favorite parts down there? Well, first of all, I was blown away because this is a world-class museum. You're thinking, okay, what, is, what's a, what are they going to have? It is world-class. But the thing I want to see is the hologram room that wasn't ready for us. But the thing I love most is that, that face-off uh, face game, the laugh-off game because you can get interactive and it just you sit there and laugh. So was it a hologram of present and past comedians yes. that yep. actually do a performance. Yep, yep, that's, that's cool. exactly what it is. That's really cool. And it's wow. all, you've got, you enter your, your, your likes and dislikes about comedy on your wristband. So when you go in, you touch that and it caters everything, your whole visit toward that. Right. Yeah, very neat. Because you could plug in like, I like, you know, some maybe cleaner comedy. And there are some very successful comedians, Jim Gaffigan, Jerry Seinfeld, that kind of keep it clean, but it's still hysterical. But downstairs, they have the blue room, the blue room. for those of us who <laughs> like the other kind of the comedy. The Richard Pryors <laughs> of the world, right? The George Carlin. I guess the seven words come right at you as you, as you walk in. So Joe Rogan, another one? <laughs> Something for everybody. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's get right to it. Here's what to expect today.